Many global businesses have seen disruptions to global supply chain, whether that's sourced in hardware components, um, whether it's having their engineering team out, um, sorting mm -hmm. networking issues, um, some of which, um, may I say, are outsourced, and also call centers as well. How might mm -hmm. telecommunication operating models change as a result of this? Well, I'll start with, the, with your last part, which is call centers. I mean, call center has been an overnight transition, okay? We, we um, significantly increase our capacity and onshored the great majority of our capacity, right? So you have, uh, in the case of Virgin Media in the UK, but that's true in every one of our countries, um, you have a significant uh, increase on the, on the call center support that you provide in country uh, compared to relying uh, uh, with partners uh, outside the country. And, uh, you know, that's good and bad, right? I mean, obviously, it puts a lot of pressure on cost. Um, you know, providing a, a minute of call center support uh, with an operator based in the UK is obviously more expensive than it might have been in other places in the world. Um, but, you know, you, we compensate that by significant increase in quality. We compensate that by significant increase on the technology we're investing so our consumers can, can deal with us digitally a lot more than they used to. Okay, and that's a, that's a challenge in this industry. This industry was born, you know, in the old days where everything was a paper bill and everything was a phone call for technical support. Um, and uh, certainly we have evolved significantly, but we, got a lot, we have a lot more room to grow and innovate when it comes to that. Um, you know, when it comes to uh, other aspects, like for example, the field operations, uh, we are blessed. I mean, we, we have a fantastic workforce uh, I got nothing but goodness, you know, to say about our workforce in, in, again, in your case, Virgin Media, in other cases, in every one of our countries, um, you know, we have relied pretty significantly on our workforce and they've shown that they, they're, you know, they're to be relied upon uh, and that they deserve uh, all the credit we give them uh, and, you know, and even more. Uh, so we've been quite fortunate on that. But obviously, listen, telecommunications is a high touch business. OK, you know, if, if this phone call goes away right now, you are not going to be a happy customer with uh, with uh, your, your broadband provider. Right. If you're in the middle of an important, you know, video call on your mobile phone, you know, you expect that to, you know, to get through it. And you don't expect you're going to have to read out or redo this or read that. And uh, so it's a high demand, high expectations, you know, low tolerance uh, business. And I think we've shown, you know, we had a little bit of growing pains. But I think we've shown that our, our workforce have been able to step up. And the importance of technology in here, you know, I cannot, I cannot uh, overstate uh, that importance, right? This is one of the first tangible uses of artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning. We're using, you know, more and more automation to make sure that we get ahead of problems. And we try to identify places where the network needs to get upgrades, it needs to get maintenance, it needs to be, you know, new software needs to be rolled out. A customer may proactively get software rolled out to them because we know there's a problem, you know, being developed, uh, and and more and more we're detecting those problems even ahead of the customer um, identifying it. I wish I could tell you that's a hundred percent now. Today is is far from that. Uh, we will certainly continue to make uh, improvements on that. You know, one thing about COVID is it has our NPS, the the number one measurement of uh, consumer satisfaction that we use that we we routinely. Uh, evaluate, it has consistently gone up at least seven, eight, nine, ten points in every single country that we operate. Um, and that's fantastic because that is a metric that we see immediately change. You know, if we have an outage today, I know for sure the NPS is going to go down over the next few days. And I can see it dramatically, right? And I follow it and we, we do something about it. And COVID has helped us increase NPS across the board.